Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. And in this video, I'll show you how to create dependent filters in a pivot table, something I've been asked about a few times recently. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So what do I mean by dependent filters? Well, here I have sales data for excellent ice cream. Each row includes the location of the customer, showing country and region. The CEO of Excellent Ice Cream has built a pivot table, but is struggling with filters. They want to select a specific region, say EMEA, and then in the country filter, have just those countries which are in that region which in this example is UK, France, Spain, Portugal, and South Africa. Unfortunately, this can't be done with filters, but it can be done with slicers. So what I'll do is I'll start by removing the filters from the pivot table. Just drag region and country out of the filters box. Then click into the pivot table and select Pivot Table Analyze, Insert Slicer. And I'm going to add two slicers, one for the region, one for the country, and click OK. There's my two slicers. I'll just move them out of the way so that they're not obscuring the other pivot table. I can change the colors, I can resize them and so on. I'm not gonna do that at the moment, although I will actually resize the country one just so that we don't have the scroll bar. At the moment, both of these slicers are connected to the pivot table in columns A, B, and C. What I'll do is I'll hook them up to both pivot tables. So select the region slicer and go to slicer, report connections, and put a tick against pivot table two, and do the same thing for the other slicer. Slicer, report connections, select pivot table two, click OK. So now if I click on Americas, what it does is it only shows the items for that region. If I click on Asia Pack, it only shows the items for that region. If I click on EMEA, it only shows the items for that region. So I'll choose Americas, I'll choose USA, and now for both pivot tables, what we're looking at is the information just for USA. I'll then clear both of those filters, click on EMEA, and click on South Africa. Now, one of the problems we've got is that it is still showing the items that don't match the selected region. So what I will do is right click on the country slicer, go to slicer settings, and put a tick in the box that says hide items with no data. And now if I click on, for example, EMEA, it only shows the countries in EMEA. Now it does work both ways. So if I selected, for example, India, it only shows Asia Pack. So I can do the same thing with the region slicer. I can right click on it, slicer settings, hide items with no data. It is, of course, more likely that you're going to want to select a region and then only see the countries in that region than it is you are going to want to select a country and show the region for that country. So that's it. Short and sweet from me this week. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know and you can do that in the comments below. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. And if you want to sign up for that, you can do so at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.